hello beautiful people welcome back to our channel a lot is happening in southeast and a lot will happen in in days months weeks to come as the case may be ugm have decided to defer the order made uh, by indigenous people of Belfast to suspend the sit at home order they have decided to enforce it this time around pointing fingers and ready for a showdown well my powerful have also decided to respond to their call and the people uh, prominent members, prominent Igbo youth, clergymen, uh, politicians are already calling on IPOB to do the needful, if possible, rescue them from the hands of UGM. And of course, my power have given a full detail on how they're going to go about it, giving special information to their friends and those expecting freedom anytime soon. He talked about the dynamics of the politics going on, what to be done. He spoke was quite an elaborate one. Please listen to the end so that you don't miss the key points keynote he made towards the end he said quite a lot let's go straight into the news and find out exactly what Ima Paf is saying concerns across the south east geopolitical zone have shown that the leadership of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB has started heeding to the words of Igbo leaders on the way forward for a lasting peace including their all-important intervention to ensure quick release of the detained leader of the indigenous people of Biafra that's Mazen Namdekano IPOB, otherwise known as Indigenous People of Biafra, has also been applauded for suspending the Monday sit at home order, otherwise known as Ghost Monday, uh, which began on August 9, 2021, with the, its attendant adverse effect on the economy of the region. There have however been conflicting orders by some people considered to be renegades who are attempting to absorb the authority of ipob by trying to enforce the sit at home order even after ipob has urged residents to go about their normal lawful duties on mondays on several occasions the indigenous people of biafra had had to to issue warnings that it would deal with anyone found enforcing sit at home in any part of southeast well, Indigenous people of Biafra's media and publicity secretary, comrade Ima Powerful, even had to issue threats to the illegal enforcers, but the warning appeared to be falling on deaf ears. In a strong, strongly worded warning, Powerful said, we wish to reiterate that the Indigenous people of Biafra, otherwise known as IPOB, has cancelled Monday's sit at home order and anybody or group enforcing the relaxed order is neither from indigenous people of Biafra nor from indigenous people of Biafra volunteer group. We are advising our people to ignore anybody enforcing non-existent Monday sit at home order and go about their normal businesses because such person or persons are working for our enemies and their intention is to blackmail the indigenous people of Biafra and set the movement against the people but they won't succeed. Anyone caught adding to the pain of our people in the name of enforcing Monday sit at home order will be treated like the enemy that he or she is. We therefore warn these agents of darkness using the name of indigenous people of Biafra IPOB to enforce a non existent order to desist because if we lay hold on them, they will eternally regret their evil actions. Why should these? On patriotic elements, the inf inflicting pain on our people and dragging our image to the mud, he asked. Indigenous people of Biafra IPOB remains a non-violent movement and our peaceful approach for Biafra restoration has not changed. Nobody has the powers to enforce the suspended sit at home using the name of IPOB. The only sit at home will be observed in Biafra land is when our leader Mazen Namdekano is appearing in court and we shall as usual make it public for all to know. We hereby direct community leaders, community leaders, market leaders, church leaders and other institutions of authority in Biafra land to arrest any hoodlum trying to enforce any seat at home on Mondays and hand them over to IPOB. Such criminal elements must be treated in a, in a language they understand. Despite the warning by the indigenous people of Biafra leadership, some people at Awa Mama in Imo State last Monday embarked on illegal enforcement of the seat at home only for them to have a confrontation with some soldiers which led to loss of lives and destruction of property in the areas. Reaction, reactions have also continued to trade the indigenous people of Biafra stand on the seat at home. The chairman Christian Association of Nigeria in Abia State, Apostle Emmanuel 
Argo Moore, hailed indigenous people of Biafra for declaring um, chaos against the dreaded UGM, wrecking havoc in parts of Southeast. Argo Moore said, the move by the group to go after the UGM would help to checkmate the worsening insecurity in the zone. The cleric who lamented the activities of UGM and the sorrows they have inflicted on innocent citizens said that with the declaration of by Declaration by Indigenous people of Biafra, the game of the perpetrators were up and urged IPP members to live up to their promise. Former Secretary to Abia State Government Chief Raf Agbo also spoke on the issue, commending IPOB for the declaration, which according to him suggests that the pro Biafra group is concerned about the peace in the region. Ebu said, the move by indigenous people of Biafra would deal with forces of disability in Southeast and further urged that there was serious need to properly investigate if the faceless UGM could be outside infiltrators. Chairman Council of Traditional Rulers in Umwaha, North Local Government Area, S. A. Philip Ajumiwe, commended IPOB for resolving to confront UGM who he said had committed atrocities in the South is noting that if the menace of UGM were not tackled, the problem of insecurity would have been reasonably tackled in the zone. Mm. The monarch also said that the declaration by IPOB was vindicate, vindication that the group might truly not have any link with the UGM, contrary to allegations in some quarters. Speaking on the release of Nam the Kanu, the Hanes and Debo Youth Wing said any Nigerian of goodwill who desires progress and unity of the country should support the call to release the IPOB leader. Speaking through its nas Assistant National Publicity Secretary, Honorable Chibuzo, Ude, Ide Kibo Ohaneze described those against the move as crisis merchants and national saboteurs. He said over the last few days, some crisis merchants have embarked on malicious campaign of wickedness and national sabotage with the aim to discrediting the well-received and patriotic advocacy by the Ohaneze Ndibo Worldwide Youth Wing, which has mobilized enormous support from across all spheres of opinion and orientation for the unconditional release of Mazen Namdekano. We wish to make it clear that advocacy for Mazen Namdekano's release is in the best interest of unity, peace, and progress of Federal Republic of Nigeria. And anyone trying to discourage this effort should rather be counted as an enemy of Nigerian survival as a united, equitable, and progressive nation across history. Nations have, nations have continued to adopt political methods in resolving issues of this nature and record shows that these political methods have guaranteed more sustainable peace, unity, healing than force or punishment. Ima powerful makes more clarification. They asked him how will IPOB handle the issue of those enforcing sit at home that has been suspended. He answered, we have issued warnings to those enforcing a suspended, suspended sit at home and also warned those attacking and snatching vehicles from our, our people. In the name of UGM, IPOB will never allow them to have a breathing space to humiliate and intimidate our people because IPOB is a peaceful movement and our sole purpose is to achieve their freedom not to intimidate people. We know that the Department of State Services is the one creating different groups to demonize IPOB, but they, have, they don't know how IPOB movement is structured. For 100 years to come, IPOB will remain a puzzle to them. Those creating different phase accounts, social media accounts, distracting IPOB leadership, doesn't know how IPOB operates and should not think that they can destroy the movement or the leadership, the modern sit at home order was suspended long time ago. The suspension was based on compelling need not to compound the woes of our people. IPOB is a freedom fighting movement and a listening group. IPOB needed the various appeals from our people, but the agents of darkness recruited by by a lot of persons are still moving about enforcing a seat at home. Their aim is to implicate IPOB as a violent organi organization, but they have come too late. Then I asked, what is IPB's position on the visit to Aso Rock by some Igbo leaders on the release of IPB leader Mazen Amrikan? He answered, We don't have any position on that. We are waiting for the unconditional release of our leader Mazen Amrikan because he committed no offense to deserve his current ordeals and inhuman treatment. If the government, Nigerian government, eventually releases the IPB leader, what do you think will likely happen? 
IPP members and indeed Bia friends and friends of BFR will be happy and thank our God Chuko Kikabiama. They asked him again if if government embarks on restructuring of the country from the point of view of Indibos, will that assuage IPP leadership to relax some of its demands? He answered, Nigerian government must bear one thing in mind. IPP is not fighting restructuring. We are not against restructuring, but our demand is not restructuring. Our demand is restoration of Biafran state. All we need is a date for referendum to decide whether or not we want to continue with this first marriage. Those who think Nigeria is ready for restructuring may have to think again. Those benefiting from the current lopsidedness have made restructuring impossible. They are unlikely to hit a glamour for restructuring. But for us, the only thing that can make us slow down a little is government giving us date for referendum. Restoration of the, the sovereign state of Biafra is a divine mandate. Our eternal leader, Dim Juku Emeka Odumegu Juku, told them to restructure Nigeria and told them, the, and they said no. And brought down millions of bear friends in the war. Mazin and Bikan and IPB did not come on the on board to demand restructuring. We are for total freedom and independence. They asked he asked they asked him again. They asked him, IPB position on the conduct of Anambra election made it possible for peaceful existence. How did you achieve this? Say what happened in Anambra State during governorship election is what can be called master stroke to those evil politicians who wanted to take over Anambra State government hands by all means. By the time we frustrated their evil plot, they did not have time again to apply Plan B. If we did not suspend that five days sit at home, the desperados who wanted to enslave Anambra at all costs would have taken over the state with the powers that be in Abuja. Some people are always say that IPB members are not politicians, yet that we are miscreants. Yes, we are not politicians, but we are not illiterates. We are not miscreants. And the kind of politics we do, you cannot understand it. Then I asked him a final question. Your advice to the people going forward? He said, our advice to our people is, let everybody have endurance and wait for the coming of independent Biafra nation. Nobody can stop what God had ordained and God has long ordained that Biafra will be free. Our people must understand that there are obvious prices to pay for our freedom to come and that is what we are paying now, including the adoption of our leader. But very soon, the Egyptians we see today, we shall see them no more. Weeping can endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. That's where we're going to wrap it up. Let's meet in the comment section. What's your take on this elaborate?